Light is kind of an important thing in film and video, so let's go over a few things. The first thing to know is that lights come in different colors known as temperatures or Kelvin, and for our purposes, the range we mostly focus on is the 2500 to 6500 range. The lower the number, the more warm the light. The higher the number, the more white and blue the light. Lower is usually used for indoors, higher for outdoors. Lights that have a low Kelvin would be a candle or an incandescent bulb, and a high Kelvin would be the daytime sun. The next most important thing, and pay real close attention to this, is that not all lights are made the same. One type of light can produce a different quality than another, meaning you can have two lights of the same Kelvin and they can produce a totally different image. And the reason for this is because they can have a different color rendering index, or CRI. CRI is basically a benchmark of the quality of light as compared to a pure source such as the sun, which of course is rated at the highest at 100. And this rating is a key reason why you can't just buy any old bulb for your film. Think of it as putting a plastic lens in front of a really expensive camera. But even if you're on a budget, you can get high CRI bulbs. The ideal is the 90 to 100 range. As low as 80 is kind of passable, but shoot for higher. If the CRI rating isn't posted, then you probably shouldn't buy it, unless it's based on the basic principles we're about to go over. Regular incandescent bulbs are about 100 CRI, and are naturally a lower warm Kelvin. But that brings up another point. You can buy daylight high Kelvin incandescent bulbs. But here's the trick. They are coloring the glass to change the color of the lights, and you don't know the quality of that color alteration. And chances are it's going to be a poorer CRI because of it. So only get standard incandescent, and then use your proper color gels to change it if needed. On this list, incandescent bulbs produce the most heat and use the most energy. Halogen bulbs have a high rating of about 95 and are naturally warm in the area of 3000 Kelvin. Halogen has been a workhorse for us for years and its only two cavettes are its heat output and energy consumption, which are to say better than incandescent but not by leaps and bounds. But it still produces a brilliant hard light with a high CRI and is available in much higher wattages than incandescent. Then we have CFLs, Compact Fluorescent Lamp. They can be long, spirally, have a bunch of different shapes, but what counts is the quality. CFLs can have a fairly good CRI, but many have a very poor CRI. There's a reason some cost more than others, so don't skimp for the bottom of the barrel. Other than that, CFLs put off much less heat and consume a lot less energy than halogen, but at the trade-off that they are a softer light than halogen. So, they can't throw light quite as far, and also their output is proportional to their size so more power means a much bigger bulb. The other trick is that CFL Kelvin ratings are dependent on the phosphors they use. So it can be 2800, 3300, 5500, really whatever they want to color it. That's why you need to be extra careful about CRI ratings with CFLs. It can vary greatly. One other thing to note is that CFLs use an electronic ballast, which should keep any flickering issues at bay. But if you go for traditional tube fluorescent uh, lighting, You'll need to be more careful because they usually use the older magnetic ballasts, which can be very flickery, and that is no good. So remember, electronic good, magnetic bad. Finally, LEDs are the most efficient and produce the least amount of heat, but with a lot of considerations. You can't just plug in a single LED, so you'll likely have to buy it in some kind of fixture or bank. LEDs can have a horrible CRI, and the ones with a high CRI are usually pretty expensive. They are also a harder light than CFLs, but unlike halogen which emits a hard light in all directions, the LED light is projected in a specific pattern, which is tougher to manipulate. So with LEDs, you'll likely have to spend a bit extra to get a quality fixture. As we progress, the newer types of light will eventually increase in quality and reduce in price. Just be sure to keep these basic principles in mind when buying lights, and you'll do just fine. Darren Levine, MediaHalo.com. Happy shooting!